I just picked up one of these uh, little Tascam DR07 Mark IIs and it's a great little audio recorder. You can change the position of the microphones and all sorts of fun stuff. And it's a great improvement over my onboard camera microphone, which is actually what you're listening to right now. I'm going to flip over to the recorder. You probably noticed a pretty big increase in quality and just the left to right pickup. Uh, but the problem I find with pretty much any sort of audio recorder is that any amount of wind like that, like my hand wasn't creating very much turbulence there, just a light breeze or anything will just set them off and they'll just go crazy. So what I've done, I'm just going to move this, hopefully this doesn't make too much noise, move this off to the side. I've decided to construct a, I guess they call these dead cats or blimps. I'm going to show you guys how to make one of these today. It shouldn't cost any more than about $10 at the most to put one of these together. And this one here is actually just held together with duct tape right now. This is like one of my prototypes. I was just playing around with all sorts of different materials to see what worked. And I think I've got something that works pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this apart and put it back together and hopefully make it look a little better. Uh, and then after that, we can go outside and do some real world testing on it. Just really briefly going to go over the materials we need to build this windscreen. Uh, for the actual frame, I'm just using some of this gutter protection material. And this, this stuff's great. It sort of almost has a rubbery feel to it. And it's really easy to cut and uh, bend around and work with. And just has a really nice texture to it. And it's super cheap. You should be able to find it at pretty much any sort of hardware store. And it's original purpose, I guess, is just to prevent wet leaves and stuff from entering your gutters and clogging them up. So that's what I'm using, and then I'm also using some zip ties to hold all that stuff together. Uh, and then as for the fur, I'm just using some uh, fake animal fur, I guess it's not animal fur, but just fake fur with a really thin fabric backing. Make sure you don't use real animal hair or fur because that'll have a leather backing which will block out a lot more noise than just a synthetic backing like this. Uh, you should be able to find any sort of hair like this for at uh, like a used clothing store or even Walmart should have what you need. And I just cut out a few chunks, just you saw the shape of it earlier. I think this is about 11 inches long by about 4 inches tall, and then this is about a 3.5 inch diameter chunk right there. And we're also going to need some nylons. And these are actually great at blocking wind. If I blow on my microphone right now, it probably peaked out there, as opposed to if I cover it up with one of these nylons and blow on it, it probably blocked out a lot more of the uh, wind noise very last thing I'm using here is a chunk of foam. This is like uh, three quarter inch thick foam and this will be used as a like a barrier in between the actual windscreen itself and the microphone. I kind of played around with a few ideas and I think I have a solution that should work pretty well. I'm just going to start out by chopping out the shapes I need to build my cylinder. Now that I got my pieces cut out, I'm going to go ahead and zip tie them together. With our cage pretty much complete, it's time to put on these nylons. And these will be the first layer of wind protection that goes on this thing. And I'm basically just going to be using a needle and thread to sew these onto the base. Stretch them over the top and then sew them onto the base. And you may notice that these are actually different chunks that I showed you earlier. And that's because I had a look in my basement and I actually found some uh, thicker stuff. So I'm going to use that instead. We'll just get started here. This thing turned out alright. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, it should do the trick. The next step is going to be trimming down these pieces of fabric so that, that they fit my little uh, cage a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Time to test out my sewing skills again. I just have to sew this all together and I should pretty much be done. It looks like we're pretty much done and you know I don't have any huge complaints it looks pretty slick and there's a nice clean area in there for the recorder head to sit in. Now what I've actually done to uh, attach it to the recorder is I've taken this piece of foam that I showed you earlier and I wrapped it around the head of the recorder and just put an elastic band around there to hold it in place and then my windshield will just sort of fit onto the end there and I'll just have to see how that works. Uh, I'm just going to run from one end of my driveway to the other and we'll see what sort of noise levels we get on this recorder. So, going down the driveway. And this is just sort of a jog. Jump over the fence, then run to my backyard. 
and there we go. So that was probably pretty bad. Now I'm gonna throw that little dead cat on here and we'll see if it does any better. Got the little dead cat thing on here and I'm gonna try the exact same thing. And it'll even try and say exactly what I said last time at the same spots so you can sort of compare side by side. So run down the driveway. This is sort of a light jog and jump over the fence and then a quicker run to the backyard. Here we go, hopefully that sounded a little better. Now we are going to see whether or not this thing has any negative effects on the audio quality. Now we are going to see whether or not this thing has any negative effects on the audio quality. I don't know about you, but those two tests sounded nearly identical to me. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with this little thing. And I would say that if you're having trouble using your audio recorder in slightly windy situations, I would highly recommend making one of these because they are a very affordable, cheap yet effective solution. Uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.